Gardner here. Uh, just doing some uh, Achilles tendon uh, repair surgery uh, recovery. <laughs> the best I can. Oh yeah. It's um, it's, it's day four since the surgery. Uh, had the surgery Friday and today's Monday. And uh, it's uh, day 23 from the initial injury. Um, so here we are. <laughs> here we are. We've we've gotten the surgery. We're in our cast. We're in our garden. Life is beautiful. Life is wonderful. Can't complain. <laughs> I'm on it, honestly, uh, you know, obviously, uh, just very happy to have, have gotten this far to have gotten the surgery. Um, everything seems to be going, uh, really well here. Um, I, I don't, I don't have any type of fever, uh, which would be like a sign of infection, <laughs> which, uh, I, I suppose that could, that could still come, <laughs> that could still come, but, uh, no, uh, you know, there's, there's no, uh, swelling, you know, that there could be swelling, you know, that excessive swelling that would indicate a problem. And there's none of that. It, there's no, uh, like, uh, you know, bleeding or discharge. Um, uh, you know, I haven't taken the, the cast off and that sort of thing. Uh, but if there was a real problem, you know, I think yeah, you would see some type of, uh, you know, bleeding or discharge even through the bandage bandages. So, uh, that doesn't seem to be a problem. And, and there's, and there's no excessive pain. I mean, the pain set in and I took the medication as prescribed, um, to kind of stay ahead of the pain, uh, every six hours or so. And uh, I've since uh, backed that off to every eight hours. Um, and so I, I took one this morning at around five o'clock in the morning. And, um, <clears throat> and that, that, me that medicine, you know, does the trick, you know, that, that really uh, stays on top of the pain. And, um, you know, towards the end of the, the eight hours or whatever, you know, I can feel kind of like the aching, aching pain coming back. Um, but it's not, it's not unmanageable. And, um, at this point I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to just switch over to, uh, Tylenol, extra strength Tylenol, just straight, you know, acetaminophen. Uh, this, the medicine was, was part, um, I don't know, <laughs> Oxycontin and part acetaminophen. So, you know, still a, a narcotic and still nothing to mess around with. Um, but it was also partially acetaminophen. So it wasn't like, you know, super strong. And, um, I, I think, uh, after this, I would just be able to go with straight Tylenol and be, be just fine because <laughs> I got to get off of that medicine, uh, for the number one reason that, um, oh my gosh, my, uh, you know, my normal, you know, perfect, uh, regularity, it has, uh, all but, all but disappeared, <laughs> you know, I've been eating, I've been hungry, but yeah, the coffee has not been working and that's not good. <laughs> I know it's probably TMI, you know, too much information, but that's the reality of it, folks. And uh, yeah, that, that particular medicine can cause, uh, you know, problems in that area. And um, so, for, and for other reasons, I don't, I, don't, I don't need that. You know, if I don't need that medicine, I'm not taking it. So, um, so we're gonna see how that goes. You know, I'm, I'm gonna just go with the, uh, the Tylenol and, uh, you know, uh, had to, uh, <laughs> had to get my buddy Kev came over yesterday. Shout out to you, Kev. Thank you so much, man. He came and he picked up some things uh, for me. You know, the, he got the extra strength uh, Tylenol for me. Um, and he also um, had, to, uh, <laughs> had him pick up some uh, Colace, 
uh, stool softener. I feel like a, an old man now. But, uh, oh my gosh. Gotta do what you gotta do, folks. And uh, hopefully that will kick in. Because <laughs> he also brought me some uh, some barbecue brisket that was wonderful. I eat, well, I still have some of that in there. <laughs> and, uh, and he brought me some peach cake, you know, from his peach tree that, um, that Nicole made. Thank you, Nicole. That peach cake was excellent. And I em emphasize the word was. <laughs> ah, cause it's gone, gone, gone. It didn't need to go so soon, trust me. It was a sizable cake. It had some weight behind it. And uh, <laughs> it's gone. And I got plenty of other stuff in there, folks, you know, but like I'm almost on an eating, uh, on, a, on a, what do they call that? A, a starvation strike or something, or an eating strike. I'm like, I cannot eat anymore <laughs> until until we deal with some of this. I don't know. Again, TMI. But other than that, you know, I would mow the grass. And uh, my friend uh, Kev said that he, him and Dustin were going to come over, and they will. You know, if, I mean, I, I don't even. I'm not even worried about it. I've got you know some other folks I might tap into for the grass, but I can't, I just can't do it. And I can't even worry about it because doctor's orders, you know, I've got a, a you know, I can't put any weight on this. And, uh, you know, you gotta let it heal folks. You gotta let it, uh, you know, set up and, and you don't want to do anything to, um, you know, damage, uh, you know, the, the sutures or the staples or, you know, whatever's going on in there, it feels good at the moment, and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> so, I'm not worrying about anything. The grass, or, you know, whatever. I'm not feeling guilty at all. I'm going to lay here, get me some vitamin D. The, the sun is in and out, you know, in and out of the clouds. And, um, it's a beautiful day, you know. The, the weather has just turned beautiful. It's, uh... It's probably 83 degrees, maybe. Uh, uh, you know, par partially sunny, partially cloudy. <laughs> Beautiful plants uh, blooming in the garden. Um, I should take a walk around, take you guys for a little walk around. Um, but again, trying to stay off my feet <laughs> or my foot. And, uh, I think I will fly around, see what's going on in the neighborhood. We can uh, we can go for a little a little fly around, see how things are. I'm sure all the the neighbors' grass is mowed nicely. <laughs> ah, like what's going on with that guy? His yard is always you know looking looking awesome. You know, what the heck's going on with that guy? <laughs> I might. I might be calling y'all up. All my neighbors. I don't know if they watch my videos or not. But uh, trying to trying to drink plenty of fluids, you know, plenty of water. And um you know keep hydrated. Uh it's always a good thing. Oh gosh, that's about it, folks. Uh, we're doing good. You know, we've got our follow-up on the twenty-second, and that's um. Let me see, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. I think today's the twelfth. So that's in ten days. So in ten days, we're gonna go and get the bandage off, and uh, you know, make sure the wound is uh, healing properly, and um you know, get fitted for uh, uh, some type of boot, you know, an adjustable uh, boot uh, that will protect, you know, protect the injury. And that will also, um, I believe, uh, align the, the toes forward, which will uh, 
relieve the tension uh, off of the, the, the tendon and the repair. And then as it heals over, over uh, you know, the, the next six weeks or something, uh, probably continue to adjust that boot so that the foot becomes more flat and the tendon is, is stretched out a little bit, but still protected. You know, I don't know. I don't know. And, uh, but it'll be interesting, you know, meet with the doctor and uh, get his thoughts on, uh, <laughs> on how, how it looks and how, you know, how the surgery went. You know, I ain't, I ain't even talked to the doctor, so I don't, I don't even know what his thoughts are, you know. I mean, <laughs> he might be like, oh God, how are you doing? That was a nightmare. Or he might be like, you did really good. Everything looks good. I don't see any problems, you know, you're, you're healing up nicely. And uh, just continue to, you know, take it easy, but also gonna get into more, uh, you know, uh, physical therapy, I guess, you know, to, it's just a long road, a long journey. So we're just starting and, um, you know, we're just uh, starting off and uh, I'm gonna <laughs> continue to, uh, continue to take the journey and, and continue to heal and continue to get back to hopefully where I was, you know, um, I'm a landscape gardener, so I got to get my physical strength back. I got to be able to do what I, what I love and what I, you know, what I normally do. Um, and there's lots of things that I love to do besides, uh, landscaping and gardening that I would like to get back to if possible. You know, like, uh, snowboarding. Ooh. I think I will. <laughs> I hope I will. I better. Um, you know, going down to the beach, you know, go hiking, uh, you know, go check on some mushrooms, you know, whatever. Um, but I'm not that concerned with all of that. I'm really just really grateful and humble to have had the surgery and to be at this point you know, in my healing journey, you know, I feel like now I'm actually starting to heal. You know, those tendons are repaired, they're, they're tied back together, and the actual, you know, knitting together and the healing process is, is well underway. And I'm just gonna, you know, go along that journey and uh, I'm gonna get healthy again, get back on my feet. And I uh, think, thanks to, um, you know, thanks to the surgeon Thanks to my, my dear, wonderful friends and family and everybody who's helped me here along the, along the way. I've, I've really uh, needed a lot of help. And, um, and I've had a lot of folks uh, help me here. And, um, and <clears throat> I'm gonna, you know, still, still need help. <laughs> I'm gonna still uh, depend on some folks to help me. Um, but at the same time, I am uh, gaining back my uh, my independence and my mobility little by little, and I and I will I will uh, continue to gain back my independence and um, and hopefully get to the point where I can help you know help others you know as as, as any way I can you know this has definitely um, given me a a new uh, a new appreciation for uh, you know. Uh, being uh, being dependent, you know, and 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 needing other people's uh, help, and um, and so um, it's going to give me a renewed sense of, uh, you know, if I can help others, you know, I, I definitely need to do that because uh, uh, I, I kind of know the feeling now of being, you know, somewhat helpless. Um, and. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, uh, you know, mainly for myself, you know, just, um, also as, um, as my journey closer to the Lord, you know, uh, to, to somehow, um, somehow serve him in any way I can, uh, you know, mainly if, if I can lead anybody to the Lord, you know, that, that's the number one thing, you know, to so seeds you know that um that the holy spirit will take and uh and nurture and you know and and raise up to become believers uh that's that's really our 
our greatest work is to uh, do the work of the Lord. So, so, so seeds, you know, um, uh, of, uh, you know, witness, you know, so the gospel, I mean, the gospel is that Jesus Christ came, he came in the flesh and he took upon his own self all of our sins and he went to the cross and he paid the penalty that we are due because of our sins and that penalty is is more than just the physical pain that he endured on the cross you know that penalty is um, that that penalty is is unimaginable and that's uh, uh, e eternal death in hell you know he he paid that penalty somehow and because he was Lord God Almighty uh, death could not hold him you know he was he was perfect and sinless and so hell and death could not hold him and he raised uh, back from the dead and he raised into you know he's resurrected into eternal life and because um, because I mean we, we because we uh, are a part of him you know by believing in him and trusting in him uh, we are made a part of him a part of his body and so we are actually resurrected from the dead into his life which is eternal which is forever and um, we get to enjoy those benefits of, of living for all eternity in him uh, uh, freed freed from the penalty of our sin and it's an unimaginable gift and it and it's exactly that it's a gift that he um, you know that he pro procured for us on the cross it's a gift and all we have to do is accept that gift and trust in the Lord and believe that he is who he says he is uh, you know the savior of the world the Lord God Almighty and um, yeah if only we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ then we we shall be saved and um, our sins you know they they won't they won't condemn us they can't you know he's paid for them and that's his promise to us and that's his gift to us and um, and that's that's my hope that's what i believe and uh anyone else who would believe that also um will enjoy the same benefits you know uh eternal life with the lord himself you know seated at the right hand of the father for all eternity and uh there's there's nothing greater and um uh, unfortunately while we're still here you know in this world in this flesh uh <laughs> We still go through tribulation because, uh, you know, uh, this this is a fallen, broken world. We are still fallen, broken people while we remain in this uh, wretched uh, flesh. You know, the flesh is corruptible, and uh, so it's not a perfect life here uh, in this world. No way, in this flesh, no way. It's a, it's a, it's a. It's a, uh, it's still a life of tribulation, you know, ups and downs, you know, we, we try to walk a perfect walk as best as we can, because we want, we want to stay close to the Lord and to stay in fellowship, but, you know, it's not possible to, uh, to be perfect honestly not in this flesh and so we fall and you know we got to get back up and the Lord helps us back up and he has mercy uh, beyond belief and he helps us along the way and um, and he won't he will not forsake us he will not you know utterly let us go he will not let the devil or anyone snatch us from his hand because not because we are faithful but because he is faithful and uh, 
you know. That's what I, you know, that's what saves us. You know, that's, that's, well, that's the, that's what I trust in. I trust in him above all else. Um, I certainly don't <laughs> trust in myself to be perfect. And I don't hold anyone around me, you know, to, to that perfect, such a perfect standard that if they fall, that I would ever, you know, deem anyone condemned because they, you know, they weren't perfect. Uh, otherwise, I would have to condemn myself, obviously, because I am definitely not perfect. <laughs> But the Lord is, and, I, and my, my focus, honestly, is on Jesus and on his word, on his, his Bible, and on his perfection. My focus is on the Lord. He is perfect. He is holy, and he is faithful, and uh, yeah. So anyway, folks, I um, uh, thank you so much for coming along on my little journey here. It is far from over. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you again uh on the next episode i'm sure um and uh and then uh, with that i'm probably gonna go take a, a, a little flight around the the neighborhood it is getting a little breezy but that don't matter i want to see what's going on <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you again next time, uh, next episode, coming up uh, shortly. And I will see you again. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.